Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Un gusto. Good evening, teacher. Nice to meet you, Elizabeth. Hello, nice Ursula. Nice to meet you, too. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I'm doing good. Well, a little bit sick. Just oh, a little bit. I don't know, my kids are, um, they have the flu. Mm. Yeah, oh. or a little cold, I don't know. Get some temperature, and that's it. Headaches. I was sick. I was sick last last week. I I think I, it's a it's a trend, I right? Went, I went to the doctor, and he gave me a two day off. Okay. Because I was feeling very bad. You were in disability. Yes, today. But I was uh, with a temperature and headache uh, for about three days. Three days with temperature. So it's mm -hmm. something that is going all around, right? Everybody's getting that. Yes, everybody. In my, in my office, uh, almost. The most of the, the most mm, without the without the most of most most of my partners or my coworkers uh -huh. were sick too. Oh my god! I see. I'm here. We are here, ready. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You look a little tired, teacher. No, it's just a feeling of feeling. I'm not sick, but I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit sick. I guess I'm tired. I'm tired because I I went, I went out of the house. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow. I feel weird when I go out, especially because. I had to do some crazy stuff. Uh, I left the two little, the two little kids uh, at home because they're sick, right? And I went to the, to the school to pick up my eldest son, who is almost fourteen, and mm -hmm. and I did this on my car, which is very old, and it's a standard, it's a standard car. So we drove, mm -hmm. but I tested. Finally, I tested, and and, and it. It runs really good, so I'm very happy. It was very good. And we went to Los Planes. We switched, we switched car with my wife, and I went to Santa Tecla. We, we changed the battery because her battery was under warranty, so they gave us the same battery, but they repaired it. I don't know. Then I went to El Seguro to pick up some documents, and then I went back to Los Planes, switched the car, and came back with my kid. So mm -hmm. it was like from that was like from 1 p.m. to to 5 p.m. Took me the whole afternoon. It was so crazy. Yeah, and it it was about to rain. You know, there was a huge storm, but it didn't rain. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is uh, uh, because you are sick, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, the more you move, the sicker you get, I guess. But my, my grandma used to say that when you're sick, you don't have to pay attention to your sickness. Just don't listen to it. Don't don't go to bed. Don't go to bed. Just do an effort, you know. Don't don't feel sick. It's mental. That's what she used to say. I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I think sometimes yes, but but uh um sometimes no and you need to go to the doctor and take some medicine it's just i don't like going to the doctor you know i hate it um i went because i have a quiste sinovial here mm -hmm. in, my, in my wrist yeah. so they're they're going to do surgery uh, so soon very soon mm -hmm. and just just to do the appointment there was a huge line, like 25 people online, and I'm like, oh my god. 
I hadn't I hadn't gone I hadn't been to the El Seguro for seven years maybe seven eight years without going to El Seguro and, and it's still the same thing mm -hmm. I don't know yeah. it's faster it is faster yeah. but the the facilities everything is so negative you know you feel like mm -hmm. oh my god everything is nasty filthy mm -hmm. it's depressive. Yeah. Everybody is, is angry. Everybody is, I don't know, depressed. Anxious. It's anxious. Uh -huh. Anxious. Mm -hmm. I don't That's like true. it. Yeah. But anyways, what I like is that okay. people people is more conscious, you know. They're more conscious about, mm -hmm. about respecting the other. Because uh, I noticed that, you know, on the line, everybody's trying to help. Okay, mm -hmm. you have to go to the back. Okay, to the back. Okay, and this line is for making the appointments. Okay, okay, thank you. So everybody's more polite. Polite. More whatever polite. whatever you go, mm -hmm. I don't know why, but wherever you go, you go to the supermarket, even people driving is more respectful lately. I don't know. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. so that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's see. Uh huh. How many are we? We are 12. Let me do the attendance. And we may start with a dynamic because we have to wait for the others to do the activity, remember? You should, no. you could. No, I don't know. Uh, I don't come remember. On. <laughs> Let me see if you don't remember. I send the the, the capture the, the screenshot to your WhatsApp. Let's see. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you are. You were on group number two, haha. -ha. With Eduardo, Irma. <laughs> okay. We will do that in a minute. Let's let's do it. Let me do the attendance quickly here. <clears throat> Alexa Marcela Cibrian de Montenegro. Not yet. Arely Isabel Campos Hernandez. Dalila Abigail Hernández Meléndez. Daisy Carolina Angulo de Sánchez. Hmm. Edwin Esaú Galdames Calderón. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Elizabeth del Carmen Vázquez Pérez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Erling Melquisedec. Castro Cortez. Here I am. Hey, good. Henry Giovanni Rivas Rivera. Okay. Irma Noemí de Jesús Martínez. Present teacher. Excellent. Jennifer Beatriz Mejía Cepeda. Present. Thank you. Jill Yvonne Mengíbar de Castellanos. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar. Catherine Beatriz Reyes Ventura. Present, teacher. María Epifania Castro. Present, teacher. I am the way. Yes. <laughs> okay. Marta Marisol Castillo Valladares. Present, teacher. Good. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Reina Elizabeth García Alfaro. Thank you. Silvia Evelyn Romero Bautista. Hmm. Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio Orellana. And Ursula Esteli Gómez Martínez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Okay. Good. So... You know what? Let's start with something that will be useful for you. Vamos a empezar con algo que va a ser útil durante toda su carrera. Um, algo que yo empecé cuando con algo que aprendí yo cuando trabajaba en el cine reforma. Um, y lo aprendí. Porque me enamoré. 
les juro que yo no sé qué, te, qué me dio Dios a mí, pero yo tengo un don que logro ver, leer a las personas cuando las veo en persona, este, así enfrente. Y no sé, vi a esta mujer, no estaba quemada por el sol, andaba bien vestida, bien peinada con el pelo planchado, rubia ojos azules, chele, blanca, como la noche en la que parió la, como decía mi abuela, ¿eh? así, entonces dije yo, esta mujer no es americana. So, in, ahí comencé, les estoy hablando del 2001, cabal, durante el terremoto ya estaba trabajando en el cine, en el 2000 empecé, trabajaba y estudiaba en bachillerato, por eso me vine de Santa Ana, bueno, la cosa es de que me atreví. And I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to say. Um, I just remember I said, hi, uh, my name is Rafael. Can I help you with something? And she was like, oh, you speak English. Very good. <laughs> and I was like, yes. She's, she, and then she's laughing and everything. We spend one hour just talking. And I asked her for her email address. Le pregunté el correo, me atreví, y me dio un correo falso. <ríe> so, cuando le escribí en Messenger, Jill, ¿se acuerda de Messenger? ¿Quién más? Messenger de Hotmail, Hotmail, ¿no? Man, y le escribo, Erika Molina, arroba, no sé qué. No me contestó. A los tres días me voy viendo un mensaje de una colombiana. I was like, oh my God, really? <ríe> Lo que aprendí ese día es cómo iniciar una conversación. How do you start a, a conversation just right now with your classmates? And that's called, eso se llama, breaking the ice. Break the ice. Okay. I'm working, I'm working still, Erling. Good. I'm going to be as a listener today. Hey, good. Perfect. That one's good. I'm going, I am working still. I'm still working. I'm still working. Okay. Uh, esto del yet se ocupa en negativa más que todo. Okay. Not yet. Don't do it. Yet. Okay. Still es más como un verbo. ¿Cómo se llamaban aquellos? Frequency adverbs. ¿Se acuerdan del adverbio de frecuencia? Always, often, never. Right. So, lo mismo es con still, aún. Okay, so let's break the ice. How do you break the ice? Well, you make any question. After, hi, my name is, or hi, how are you? My name is, okay, hi, my name is Raúl. Okay. So, what do you say after that? <laughs> Ursula, what do you say after your name? My favorite color is red. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe. How about you? Or oh, yeah. where do you live? <clears throat> really? Where oh. do you live? <gasps> where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> oh, something else. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, What do you do? Oh, so what do you do? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, good. I'm a teacher, an English teacher. And you? Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, y ahí está la importancia de hacerte muchas preguntas. Ahora, el problema con nosotros los adultos, <coughs> desde las primeras clases, es que usualmente... Ya aprendimos mucho, ¿no? Ya tenemos mucha información en la cabeza y nos hemos vuelto un poco cuadrados. Nuestro cerebro se acopla, y, y es que es un proceso lógico, ¿no? Te vas, perdón, con el respeto de todos, pero a medida que vamos creciendo, yo estoy viejo también, tu cerebro va desechando cosas que ya no ocupa. Si ya vieron intensamente, ¿sí? Lo mismo, ¿no? Ese montón de bolitas de sentimientos que ya no necesitas, recuerdos que no necesitas, los va almacenando, ¿sí? Para hacer para hacer que las células que te van quedando funcionen a su máxima capacidad con la información que cree 
que sí necesita y la información que cree que sí necesita la toma como verdades absolutas entonces dice ya, ya aprendí en la vida dicen algunos, ¿para qué le hablo a alguien que no conozco? ¿verdad? ¿de qué me sirve? pues con el inglés tenés que aprender que aún quedan millones de personas que conocer aunque sea por cinco minutos que conozcas a esa persona that's good It's always good. So, ¿cómo haces esto? Hay una aplicación, bueno, es una página viejísima. Ahorita se la voy a compartir en el WhatsApp. Lo que vamos a hacer a continuación lo pueden hacer de vez en cuando entre ustedes para romper el hielo. Para empezar una clase. Ojo, criterio propio, lo que creas que ya conoce la clase. Estos son preguntas muy random, se llama Random Questions Generator. Entonces, Conversation Starters, se llama el, la página. Cuando entres, vas a ver una, un botón anaranjado que dice Generate Another Random Topic. Le das clic ahí. Y por ejemplo, yo tengo Tell me about your dream house. Tell me about your dream house. Entonces tú puedes preguntarle a cualquier compañero y juntos empezar a vislumbrar las respuestas, ¿no? Ok, so let's see. Um, Reina, tell me about your dream house. I don't understand <laughs> about dream, dream house. Dream house, your dream house. Ah, dream. Uh -huh. Dream, no, drink. No. <laughs> no, it's on the chat, it's on the chat. Tell me about your dream house. Who can answer? Who can answer this question? I want a big house. How many rooms? <laughs> <laughs> two rooms um, four rooms. four rooms four rooms okay what else um, a pool a swimming pool um, not no no um, and um, garage a garage for one garage. car? Yes. For one car? Uh, maybe two. Two. Two cars. <laughs> That's not big. Really? <laughs> okay. What about the backyard? Um, two. Also? Also... Um, Maybe uh, uh, um, maybe game room. A game room, <laughs> okay, okay. What about the, so. the kitchen? The dream of every woman, the kitchen. A kitchen. Huge. Yes, a big kitchen. A big kitchen, a big fridge. A huge refrigerator. Okay. It is always full. Okay. So, in, great job. Reina, great job. Nice try. So, that's the way you do it. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do you do to stay in shape, Catherine? What do you do to stay in shape? A mí me hacen esta pregunta y siempre digo, en forma de pera, tal vez. <laughs> What do you do to stay in shape? <laughs> ¿Qué haces para mantenerte en forma? The question is, what shape? <laughs> right. Catherine, what do you do to stay in shape? Um, eh, a comer saludable sería eat, eat health 
healthy. 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 Good. Healthy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, like um, fruit. Like fruit, vegetables. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> then ask. Uh -huh. Then ask. Teacher, how do you say evitar? Uh, <laughs> ah, okay. Um, avoid. Ah, good, you know it. Avoid what? Um, How do you say grasa in English, guys? Jill, everybody? Elizabeth? How do you say grasa? Trans. What? Fat. Fat. Okay. Fat. Fat. Hmm. Uh, Isn't it Greece? No. Greece? No. Hmm. Hay una diferencia entre fat y Greece. Tarea, ¿eh? ¿Cuál es? Pero quería llegar al punto de cómo ocupar esas dos palabras como adjetivos calificativos de alimentos. So, ¿cómo dirías comidas grasosas? No, okay, and you say greasy, greasy foods. Ok. Greasy foods y coloquialmente um, we call them fat food. What? Silvia? Fat food. Fat food? Mm, no. No. Y ese era el punto que quería aterrizar. Fat es como para decir que alguien está gordo, es como un adjetivo ya de por sí. Ok. Uh, puede ocuparse así como adjetivo con otras cosas como fatty acids, um, ácidos de la grasa, no sé. Es un término químico, creo, médico, no sé. Ok, uh, greasy foods, um, but we call them junk food, junk food. Coloquialmente, junk food es comida chatarra, right? Junk food. Bien, porque estoy hablando de comida, de situaciones de estas, quería llegar a esto por el tema que vamos a ver ahora. Uh, luego de que hagamos nuestra actividad, con lo que estemos, vamos a trabajar, terminar lo que empezamos el viernes, right? The use of should or models and what clauses. Ok, so en su momento yo con esa aplicación que les he enviado a esa página, les dividiré para que ustedes puedan practicar con sus compañeros. Brevemente, ¿eh? atacar a sus compañeros, diría yo. Acuérdense que a mí me gusta la competencia, entonces háganle la pregunta a su compañero. Ok, what do you do to stay in shape? Oh, I go to the gym, I... I do, I'm on a diet. I'm always on a diet. And I don't drive. I don't take the bus. If I can, I walk. Instead of taking the bus or driving, if it is close, I just walk. I go walking. And that's the way I stay in shape. Okay. For example. Eh, y luego después eh, dando clic al botoncito anaranjado, siempre considerando que vas a encontrar preguntas que no has visto aún. Hay gramática que aún no ha visto, pero hay muchas, muchas preguntas que sí. Por ejemplo, Jill, what do you usually eat in the morning? What do you usually eat in the morning? Pupusas. Really? Yeah. Very often. Um, um, from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you say de vez en cuando? Sí, el otro también. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> one day yes and the next one too. Okay. How do you say un día sí, un día no, chicos? O una semana sí, una semana no. 
No idea? Okay, let's finish this topic. Every other, this is another frequency uh, word that you can use. For example, people get paid, people get paid every other week. People get paid every other week, right? Una semana, si una semana no, right? Every other week. Uh, I don't know, I take a shower every other day. Un día si, un día no, right? Okay, let's continue. So <laughs> you have that website, you can use it. Let's see if I can split you in the groups that we have pending. Uh, so for example, if I want the first group, do I have Alexa? Yes, Alexa is here. Daisy Carolina. <laughs> no, I don't see her. Okay, Edwin is here. Jennifer Beatriz is here too. That's group number one. Number two, Eduardo. Eduardo is here. I have Erling, Irma, Silvia, yes, and Ursula. That's group number two. Everybody's here. Good job. Okay, group number three, I had Henry, but Henry is not here. Okay, Catherine Reyes is here, Maria Epifania, and Marta Marisol. They're all here. Did you finish preparing, Catherine? Terminaron de preparar? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, and the last group was Areli. Jill, Reina, and Sonia. Yes, yes. Yes, you're yes. ready? Okay. So if you're ready, let's do it. Let's present. Remember, this is a role play and we're using models, right? Good? Okay, so let's go with group number one. Group number one, Alexa, Daisy, Edwin, Jennifer, and Jill. In nuestro caso, teacher, solo Jennifer and yo, nada más. Okay, good. If you have a conversation, let's do it. Okay. Al gran Tiago. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. What about you? Well, I am working with, with your person. You can call it. Really? That's cool. And yes, uh, Jennifer, what happened to you? Um, I fell down the stairs. Really? No, the truth is, is that my husband hit me. I think you show Lady Pin. Yes, yes, I shall go to the doctor too. Oh, you must to, and you can go to the police. Yes, and I think I should go so far away from him. Thank you for listening. That's it, teacher. That's it, teacher. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, good job. So, Jill, <laughs> Jill, what is the problem with with uh, Jennifer? What what's her problem? Pardon? What was the problem with Jennifer? What is the situation? Oh. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Reina, what happened to Jennifer? Why did she need advice? I didn't understand much, really? but I think. Uh huh. But I think she was sick. She was sick. Okay. She. <laughs> but the first question is, Edwin, you you ask her, right? Did you fall? Uh, I mean, what happened to you? What happened to you? 
uh, Edwin asked, here it is. Okay, what's happened to you? No, the, the question is what happened to you? What happened to you? And Jennifer said, I fell, I fell down the stairs. I fell downstairs. And then she explains that her husband hits her, right? Her husband hits her. So she was, maybe she had a bruised eyes. I don't know. Let's repeat. Shooth. Shooth. That's the proper pronunciation for this model. Shooth. Okay. Shooth. Like that. Shooth. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Great job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me go with group number two, which is composed by Eduardo, Erling, Irma, Silvia, and Ursula. Everybody else, please pay attention. Hello. Okay, guys, you may start. Pueden comenzar con su presentación, con su diálogo. Um, Eduardo, Erling, Irma, Silvia, and Ursula. You start, Irma. Here I am. Perdón, es que tengo malísima la señal. Pero sí. Good morning, Eduardo. I like we are not dying very well now. Good morning, Irma. Something like that. I did not reach at weekend. Uh, you walk a little. You. You look a little red eyes. You should not come like this. The boss will find you out. Yes, Eduardo. You have to take care of your work. Yes, lady. Use, use, yes, lady. Use last night, I had a little drink. A little. <laughs> yes, a little. <laughs> That's it, teacher. You, you, you take care you take care of your job and your health, Eduardo. You did her your feel that the smell of alcohol. Oh ladies, I will take your advice and I will not come in this to war state. Okay, let's, okay, guys. Get come back to work, but Eduardo, you you need you need to find no, you need to you need you need help, Eduardo. You could you could lose your clients and you could lose your job even you could lose your family <clears throat> no I you don't shouldn't come it. to work 
you shouldn't come to work like this or what? It, it's very difficult uh, to work uh, like this. No. I need to help you because I have a, I have done console my 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 business. <laughs> okay, that's it, teacher. Okay. So you call that an addiction. Addiction. Thank you. Addiction. So again, Edwin, what was Eduardo's problem? Mm, I remember you with a little alcohol. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's working, right? Sonia, he's working and what's going on? Eduardo, ah, eh, es difícil, difícil, tiene dificultades para dejar el. Okay, he has difficulties to stop, stop. drinking. To drinking. stop drinking, yes. Mm. Okay, he has an addiction. He has an addiction. Okay. Let's do this together. Eduardo, thank you guys. That was good. Uh, Eduardo, some something you said something. No. Something. 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 So you have an M and then the something. something. There you go. Perfect. Something. You look a little red eyes, decía Ursula. You look a little red eyes. You have some little red eyes, you know. Your eyes, no, no, no. Your eyes are a little red. Your eyes are a little red. Okay. The boss could find out. Good job. The boss could find out. Okay. Could, could find out. Just last night, I had a little drink. That sounds good, actually. I just, and you missed the, the, the subject, maybe that's, but they do it. Gringos do this all the time. They don't put the, the subject, you know. I just had a little drink last night. I just had a little drink last night. Okay. Easier, I drank a little. I drank a little last night. Um, I had some drinks last night. Okay, many ways of saying the same thing. Irma, you say smell, uh, smell, smell. Okay, smell. Okay, and long story short, another saying, long story short, en resumidas cuentas, in a few words, I don't know, long story short, uh, this was an addiction, right? An addiction to, but also a situation at work, you cannot be drunk at work. Can you? No, you can't, okay? <laughs> Maybe in my job, in my job, yes, you can do it because I, there's nobody here. So I could be drunk right now and you don't know. Okay. <laughs> Group number three, <laughs> Henry, Catherine, Maria, and Marta. Yeah. Okay, we're only missing Henry. We have Maria, Catherine, and Marta. Whenever you're ready. Okay, comienza. Henry should go to the United States because he should give his children a better life. Henry, I see, I think he should work hard also. He should manage his salary to cover all the needs of his children. 
like a full health study and he should have a good relation and give advice to his children. Okay, so these are the advices uh, the that you were to give to Henry, right? But he's not here, I think. Okay, to put you in context, guys, Henry, Henry is going wet to the United States. Okay, Henry is going wet to the United States. He's crossing the border because he couldn't find a job and he has 10 kids. So that was the context. And <laughs> I was like, what? Can you imagine? And that's reality. That's real life. That's real life. In some places like, I don't know, Candelaria La Frontera, which is from where part of my family is, uh, there are people who have three, three women, you know, they have three women. And with each woman, they have Three houses, you know. Oh, and they are proud. That's proud. I have three women. <laughs> I, I cannot even. I cannot even do it with one. Can you imagine three? Oh my god. She may be listening. Okay. Wow. No. And just I have three kids. Can you imagine having ten kids? Oh my god. That's that's too much. Okay. Again, great job. Catherine, thank you very much. Marta as well. I think so. Uh, you say should, and the negative is shouldn't, 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 like that. Uh, should perfect. She said should manage his salary. I think Henry should manage his salary to cover the needs of his children. She said. Good job. And yeah, that's all. Very good. I understand uh, your classmate is missing, so it's okay, guys. Thank you very much. I'm going with the last group. Areli, Jill, Reina, and Sonia. Yeah. Okay. Hello, my friend. At the school, I can find a choose. What I can do? I go to the uni statue. Um, you should give me your personal soon. I could recommend you to my friend who have businesses. Yeah. Okay. Also, you Thank can you. attend the job fair of the Ministry of Labor. I think you should look for information on work visas uh, of the United States. Uh, good idea. Well, you, well, you should do it first. Try all the possibilities there in in the country what i think is that you should exhaust the opportunities and not leave your family you should learn english and thus you will have better job opportunities in the country it's okay i trust that you in a stay here working in El Salvador. Thank you, you very much, my friend.
<laughs> that was good. Actually, I liked it. Good job. Hey, um, so what was the topic to everybody else? Not from the group. What was the topic? Ursula? Um, I, I understand uh, one of the girls can, couldn't, no, couldn't find a job. And he, he was looking for a job and, and nothing, nothing, no work, no work for, for her. Exactly. So she wanted to go to the States, right? Go to the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Okay. Who catch a phrase? Who catch, I'm sorry, who caught a phrase? Who caught a phrase? The past of catch. Caught. I've, I've heard you should to learn English to have better opportunities, I think. Okay, uh-huh. That's a good phrase, actually. Who else? That's it. Catch, caught. So my question was, who caught, who caught a phrase? Mi primera clase como profesor fuera de inglés para el trabajo y me llevo una sorpresa. Tengo un alumno que, les estoy hablando del 2016, más o menos agosto 2016. Tengo un alumno que se la pica y cree que se sabe todo. Estamos en básico 3, o sea, y pues me fregó, de verdad, en buen salvadoreño. Teacher, what is the past of catch? No, it's like, catched. Y todavía le digo, catch. O sea, catch, ed. Pensé que era un verbo. ¿Cómo se dice? Un verbo. Regular. regular. Ajá, good job. I thought it was a regular verb. Pensé que era regular. Y yo, y yo terco. Lección número uno de un profesor humilde. No asumas que lo sabes todo. Si, si tenés duda, ponele un parqueo. Y eso lo empecé a aplicar desde ese día. I'm going to park. I'm going to park your question here on the right-hand corner at the top. Because I, I can remember, okay? Catch, cut, catch, cut. Next day, al día siguiente, estaba como, mira, enfrente de todo, le dije, disculpame. Estaba nerviosa en mi primer día con usted, era como, que, okay? So, let's move on. Desde entonces nos hicimos super amigos, y hasta el día de hoy, like, vive en una casa de, de una familia. So, I mean, it's amazing the way you learn. So, good. Who caught a phrase? Who caught a phrase? ¿Quién atrapó una frase? I go, I go to the United States. I think that will be... Mm -hmm. uh, you, you could look for information of visa. Of visa. Of Something visa. Like you could uh -huh, look for information of visas. Visa. Yeah. Is that is that all right? You could look for information of visas at the embassy at the U.S. embassy. Okay, uh, I go to the United States. I'm going to the United States. I I will say I'm going. I'm planning to go to the United States. I think I'm going to the United States. Okay. Uh, I, to the... I I will recommend or I will recommend you with my friends. I will recommend you with my friends. Okay. They have a business, something like that. They have businesses, she said, right? Yeah, that's true. Hey, the word resume. Be careful with this. Resume. Se escribe igual. Resume. Listen. Resume. Resume. Cuando tú estás viendo una película en DVD y le pones pausa o en Netflix o lo que sea. Le pones pausa y vas por el agua. Luego regresas y le das play. Eso es resum. Resum. Es resumir la, la, la reproducción, ¿ya? Resumir, volver a, a, a la reproducción. En cambio, el curriculum vitae, which is actually Latin, right? You say resume. 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 Here's my resume. Okay. 
Corrijamos eso porque en una entrevista es bien importante. Resume. Here's my resume. Uh, nosotros le llamamos. No se preocupe. Gracias. Ok. Resume. 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 I think you should attend the job fair. I love that. I think you should attend the job fair. That was a good phrase. Hey, come on. English. English. Don't say English, please. Not anymore. English. English. And I love this. Applying what I taught you. And thus. Thus. Not thus. Thus. And thus you will have better opportunities. Y así vas a tener mejores oportunidades. Love it. Good job. Great job. Um, Súper rápido, recuerden que tienen que engañar a su cerebro. El cerebro siempre va a tratar de leer como está escrito. English. Mm -mm. Díganle, no. English, 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 English. Hasta que se le quede, ¿ok? Good job. Ok, so tonight we have to talk about something very important. There is, but you know what? Hold on. Before we do this. Do you know what are countables and uncountables? Or non-countable nouns? What are countables? In your own words, what are countables? Contables e incontables? Mm -hmm. No? No. Okay, let's just name it. Countables. Countable uh, objects. What are they? Things that you can count. One, two, three, that's it. Okay, things that you can count. As simple as that. Um, tangible. Tangible objects, cosas tangibles, objetos tangibles, those are countables. For example, pe pencils. pencils, okay. That's another rule. You can pluralize them. They have a plural. Mm -hmm. You can pluralize them. You can say the books. Three books, four books. Sonia? The computer. Okay. The computer, a computer, one computer, two computers, three computers. Okay. Hmm. They only take the form of a or an as articles. Okay, for example, a countable object with a or an. And um, Jennifer, uh huh. An apple, <laughs> of course, an apple. <laughs> mm -hmm. What else? What else? A uh, chair. Sure. A chair. Okay. That's true. A chair. And what is the singular of shoes? What is the singular of shoes? Shoes. Shoe. No. What? Shoe. No. And with the article? A shoe. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> qua, qua, qua. That's a good joke. <laughs> Un chiste de primaria. Yeah, a shoe. Okay, shoes. So, you got it, right? What about scissors, jeans? Can I say a scissors? Is this is this okay? Do you have 
a scissors. Hmm. Reina, come on. Sonia, Eduardo, wake up. In grammatical is a season. In the correct is uh, the, the scissors. The scissors. You can use the, exactly. Thank you. You can use the scissors. Hey, have you seen the scissors? That's something else. Do you have scissors? Because, the, 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 because not using, you can not using that, for example, uh, uh, apple is an apple and the scissor is is a object. It's an object, yeah. No, but scissors is in plural, so you cannot say a scissors on, or an scissors. That's not possible, okay? You need to use the indefinite article, the, the scissors, or no article. Hey, do you have scissors, Sonia? May I borrow your scissors? You see, your scissors, no, a scissors, okay, etc. So if you know, now let's go with the other way. So we understand what are countable, things that you can count, okay? You can pluralize them, good. What are uncountable nouns? Vamos a ver esto más adelante, más a fondo, pero quiero que aterricen esto porque si no nos podemos equivocar en lo que sigue. Okay, so uncountable nouns. What are uncountable nouns? It's the opposite. Mm -hmm. For example, sugar. Sugar. Okay. Uh, water. Water, water, mm -hmm. water, milk, milk, okay. Milk, those are liquids, liquids, right? Okay, what else? Flour, flour. Made of small particles. Like that. So yeah, flower. I'm gonna write it. Teacher flowers, flores. Same pronunciation. It's the same pronunciation. Flower, flower. Nice flowers, nice flowers. Do you have some flour? Okay. Intangible, intangible, intangible objects is similar to abstract ideas. What are abstract ideas? Uh, Sonia. No. Oh my God, my camera is not right there. Like this. I cannot do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it the Japanese style. Okay. Love, right? Love is an abstract idea, okay? Freedom, when you're free, you know, you cannot say one freedom, two freedoms, three freedoms, okay? Another abstract idea, money. Money? Money is an abstract idea. Um, ¿Cómo se cuenta el dinero? Y ya matando el chucho tiempo, como decimos en buen salvadoreño, no se dice los dineros del pueblo. ¿Ok? El dinero. ¿Cómo se cuenta el dinero? How do you count money? How do you count money? Reina, come on. Ajá. Uh -huh. By coins. Oh, you use coins, dollars. Exactly. You need, oh, you, you need currency. You need currency. You need euros. You need Canadian dollars. You need US dollars. 
What else? Oh my God, more currencies. Ah, ah many currencies. Okay. GPD. Oh, GPD. British pounds. Um, Sole. What? Sole. Soles. Soles. That's Argentina, right? Yeah. Yeah, Argentina. So you need currency, moneda, mm -hmm. to count the money. Don't go like one money, two monies, three monies, right? That's not possible. Okay. Uh, liquids, water, <clears throat> milk, oil, wine, etc. Um, what else? Made of small particles, sand, sugar, okay? Beans. And in good American, in good gringo, bread is an uncountable. You cannot count bread in English, okay? Why? Because, yes. Okay, bread is uncountable in English. So, creo que tenemos claro la diferencia entre contables e incontables, ¿sí? Good. Okay, so the topic for tonight is there is and there are. Se podría entender como otro, otro tema gramatical, como otro tiempo gramatical, pero así yo quiero que lo entiendan nada más como... Um, la existencia de algo. Eso se ocupa para hablar de la existencia de algo. Es decir, para decir si hay o no algo. Simple as that. Suena hasta un poco tonto, ¿no? Hablar de eso, pero sí, lo ocupamos y mucho. ¿Ok? So, how do we do this? Bueno, vamos a comenzar introduciendo el tema con una conversación como usualmente lo hace su libro I'm on page 19 page 19 of your workbook, your students book in this lesson we will tell companies locations using there is and there are what places are there in your workplace what places are there in your workplace? For example, in my workplace, there is a kitchen, there is a backyard, there is a living room. I mean, my house. There is a bathroom in my workplace. How many meeting rooms do exist in your company? In my company, there are many meeting rooms, but I'm in the house, so I have three bedrooms. Okay. Now your turn. Please answer these questions. Edwin, what places are there in your workplace? Bathroom. A bathroom. Okay. Reina? Uh, the kit, kit. kitchen? Kitchen. The kitchen, okay. Uh, Sonia, another place in your workplace. Me Mary Rooms? The meeting rooms. Repeat the meeting room. room. Meeting. Meeting rooms. There you go. Meeting rooms. Eduardo, one more. Where do you park your car, Eduardo, in your work? You mean? Where do you park your car? In the parking lot. In the parking lot. So there is a parking lot in my job. Okay, so let's move on. We have a conversation so we can practice and then we see the grammar for there is and there are. Ready? Just listen, try to take notes if it is the first time you hear a word, okay? And it says, 
My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hutch. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. There isn't one yet. Okay. I need two volunteers to repeat the conversation. Me teacher. Good. Mi Oscar with who? Eduardo, no Oscar. I'm sorry, me Eduardo with who? <laughs> With teacher. Okay, teacher. Oh, uh, Ursula, Ursula. Good, Ursula. No, I just want to hear you guys. Okay. Ready? Ready. Good. One, two, three, action. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Orson. I work for... Hot. 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 Oh, now the company. There is an office in El Salvador downtown. Yes. In San Salvador downtown, sorry. Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What companies do you work for? I work for ECO. The painting company, there are 25 branches in the country. That's, that's great. great. Huh? Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's <laughs> great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one mm -hmm. Very good. Siempre que leo esta, esta uh, conversación pienso que aquí falta algo. There isn't no, is ahí. there isn't one there. There isn't one there yet. There isn't one there yet. Después entenderán mm -hmm. porque there isn't one there yet. No hay una allí aún. Allí aún. Aquí dice, no, no hay una, no hay una aún, dice. Aún, no hay una aún. No hay una aún, se oye raro, ¿verdad? No hay una no aún, hay there una... is a wonder yet. Ah. <laughs> y debería de ser, no hay una ahí aún. ¿Sí o no? It's like, weird. Okay. okay. Hey, uh, Eduardo, we eat the subjects. I know that company. Know that company. I know that company. Okay. Um. No es común, y de manera general se lo digo, eh, usar contracciones eh, de manera formal, no. Ok, eso es una información general, chicos, cultura general. Si están redactando un correo en su trabajo, no ocupen contracciones, es informal hacerlo. Ok, salvo que sea alguien con quien tengan confianza, pues lo pueden hacer. Ok, we're growing. Y cuando hablen, sí, cuando se habla, sí se ocupan contracciones, en inglés fluido, más sin embargo, en y correos, documentos legales, lo que sea, no se ocupa contracciones. So, again, we're, we're, we're growing. De un solo, we're growing. We're growing. We're growing. Quiero que noten una cosa. Aquí la lengua termina en el sonido R. We're. Y la siguiente palabra, la R, cuando está mezclada entre dos vocales, 
¿ok? O le precede a la R una consonante suave como la G o la W, se va de un solo la boca al sonido R. Porque la R en inglés se inicia con una U. Entonces, vamos a hacer algo rápido ahora, un plus, ¿ok? Hay un tipo que se hizo millonario haciendo esto, de poner la boca enfrente de la cámara y pronunciando cada una de las letras. Creó un libro, creó una serie de videos y los patentó. ¿Ok? Y dice... Uh, ahora enrolla en las lenguas atrás. Uh, ¿Ok? No me creas, escucha audios, los escuchar que dicen, por ejemplo, rock. No dicen rock. 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 Okay, al inicio de las palabras, red, red, red. Entonces, enrollas la lengua hacia atrás y la vas soltando a medida que vas soltando la vocal. Red, rain, rain, rain. Okay. Y cuando la R está entre, o le precede una consonante suave, okay, de una sola vez tu boca va a ser la U. U grow, grow, grow. This is right, right. Right. Drive. Drive. ¿Sí? Podríamos pasar toda la noche hablando de pronunciación de consonantes y todo eso. Pero la R no existe en el inglés. La R existe la R. ¿Ok? Good. Por eso los gringos odian el apellido Herrera. What's your name? Herrera. 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 Ok. I don't know. It's difficult. Really? Okay. So let's practice this really quick. You only have eight minutes. So go for it de un solo. No se estén uh, repartiendo el trabajo de una sola vez. Van a los grupos y practican cuantas veces les sea posible. Luego volvemos, elegimos unas tres víctimas, pasan al frente y ahí seguimos. Okay. Hey, ¿cómo que víctimas? Okay. Just a minute. I'm going to send you this to your WhatsApp group. Just a minute. There you go. Now let's split you. How many are we? 17. Oh my God. Great. Okay. Four groups. Bien, nadie se queda acá. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Edwin, let's go. Eduardo, Silvia, Erli, Jill, Erli. Let's go. Jill, me parece que la voy a unir al grupo en el que tiene el otro dispositivo. Let me see, I cannot find you. Oh, there you are. Ah, oh, no, ya está en el mismo grupo, Jill. That's great. I visited one of the store the other days. Yeah, there are six in Santa We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana. This day, there is not one yet. Eh, ahora María y Eduardo. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work for Holt. Oh, now the company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launches. One is in Santa Ana. These days, there's there's no one day yet. Okay, Maria, switch. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. There, there are six in San Salvador. We are playing on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Okay. Okay. Vaya, hoy sería usted Tom. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, Orson, I work for. Ay, esa palabra no la puedo decir. Hot. No sé. Hot. 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 Lo digo como horse, como, 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 como un caballo. Hot. 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 Casi, casi. Hot. 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 Como al final. Yo me estoy inventando la pronunciación porque la H no es muda en inglés, entonces suena J, va. Hot. Uh -huh. ah, y, Hot. Y usualmente cuando tienes una D y una G es como S, S, D, D, H, 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 por ejemplo, H. Hot. 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 Ajá. Hot. Ok. Oh. Hot. I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador, downtown. Yes, where, yes, where growing. So there are not many branch in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for... ECO by branch the country. Oh, yeah. Hola. 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 cortado. Me escucha entrecortado. Hola. Me escucha cortado. No sé. Sí, no sé si estoy bien. Hoy sí, hoy sí, ya la escucho. Hoy sí, ya me escucha. Sí, hoy sí. <ríe> bueno, entonces se quedó donde termina The Country, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí. That's great. I visit one of the stores the other day. Growing. We're, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the company, in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah. There are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana State. 
there isn't there one yet. Now change, change. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I am work for Hotchet. Oh, I know the company. There is an office in San Salvador down. Yes, we're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's right. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We're planning a launching one in Santa Ana this this days. This there day. is not this days. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There is not one yet. Okay. There is it not. <laughs> Bárbaro. <risa> Vaya, chicas, si quieren ustedes eh, de nuevo. Yo lo quiero intentar. Ok. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador. Dog tools. Yes, we're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO. The spy company. There are 24 pressure in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the, the other day. Yes, there are seats in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Okay. Ahora, cambie y que alguien más le, le ayude. Okay, I'm just waiting for your classmates to return. Hello, Ursula. I like the ah, en Spanish. <laughs> la la página de, de la letra de las canciones. Ah, lyrics training. Solo tengan, tengan cuidado que es bien adictivo eso. Very nice. Bien adictivo, sí. Very nice. So you like music, you like singing. I'm not like singing, but I, 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 I like listening. Ok, cuando quieran, negar, cuando quieran negar en primera persona, Úrsula, acuérdense del hermano de Moisés y le va a salir bien chivo. ¿Cómo se llama el hermano Moisés? Aarón, Aarón. 
I don't sing. I don't go. I don't think so. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know, Rick. I don't know, Rick. Hey, que es que somos únicos los salvadoreños para el sketch que le hicieron en el aeropuerto. <laughs> Rick. Ah. I don't know, Rick. <laughs> El pobre hombre estaba... Pues no, pero él tenía la cara así como... Déjeme un tiro, ya, por favor. Yo no quiero seguir con esto, pero bueno. Qué pena, ¿eh? No se entiende. ¿Cómo se dice pena, ¿Cómo se Pena ajena. Pena ajena. Shame on you. No, así se le dice a alguien. Shame on you. What a shame. Esa es la expresión que andamos buscando, Úrsula. What a shame. Qué pena, qué oso. What a, what a shame. shame. Uh -huh. What a shame. Y eso de shame on you es como, qué pena con vos, pero. Dios mío, no. Te debería dar pena. Uh -huh. esa, esa es la expresión. Shame on you. Te debería dar uh -huh. pena. Ok. Let's keep going. Hey, uh, we need to practice, guys. That's all. Remember, English is just repeating, repeating, repeating the same thing. But What difficult, I mean, this was difficult. Hutch. Hutch. Por ahí le decía a alguien, eso se lo va a dar la experiencia. Yo porque ya, ya entendí que la H no es muda en inglés, se lee como J, ¿no? Número uno, número dos, hay muchas palabras que eh, van precedidas de la G por la D. Es, esas tres, D, G, E. Edge, Edge, por ejemplo. Eh, la orilla de algo, the Edge. Eh, stage, stage, entonces se me viene de la mente, ¿no? Hotch, hotch, la es muda. Ok, uh, what else? Downtown, downtown. Y repito, los nombres propios no tenés por qué cambiarles la pronunciación. Ante todo, si tú conoces cómo se pronuncia el, el nombre propio en español, en este caso, ¿no? Eh, si un americano viaja a Holanda o otro país donde hablen otro idioma, no sé, los nombres propios ellos los van a pronunciar tal cual los conocen. ¿Tú conoces este nombre? La capital del Salvador es San Salvador. No es San Salvador. <ríe> right? Ok. Eh, hay que ir tomando eso. Eh, ya. Yeah. Ok. Yes. We're growing. We're growing. Quiero ver qué más decían por ahí. Branches. Um, nadie me ha preguntado. Teacher, what's the meaning of branches? Branches. Anybody? Sucursales. Exactly. Yes. So that's the meaning of branches. Sucursales. Stores. The stores the other day. And... Okay. Oh, the word launching. Launching is not launching. Okay, so almorzando, no. Launching, launching, launch, launching. Okay, so correct. Fill in the blanks to complete the following sentences so you can start with the grammar. There, what? There are. There are three offices in San Salvador. Okay. What about their one story in Soyapango? There is one store in Soyapango. Very good. And the last one? There are. There are not any offices in this region yet. There are not any offices. Uh, There aren't any offices. I don't know. Well, okay. What are we doing? We're using there is and there are. Estamos ocupando there is, there are. Como les decía, esto se ocupa, el there is y el there are, para hablar de la existencia de algo. Okay? Ahora bien, hay que comprender que solo hay dos formas. Eh, there is o there are. Is para singulares y are para plurales. Okay. Not después del verbo to be 
para crear una oración eh, negativa. Voy con la pizarra, como decía Frank Suárez. Voy con la pizarra para explicarles un poco mejor esto. Okay. Entonces, ¿se acuerdan del verbo to be? Sí. Ok. Gracias. Entonces, ¿cómo lo ocupábamos el verbo to be? Si se acuerdan, era el subject, el verbo to be, y el complemento, que era cualquier cosa, ¿no? Pues lo mismo va a ocurrir aquí. Aquí hace de caso que el there es tu sujeto, y el verbo to be, ese es tu verbo principal, el auxiliar de ese tiempo que vamos a ocupar. Entonces, para hablar de manera positiva, afirmativa, voy a ocupar el there, más el verbo to be que corresponda. Ahora, aquí es donde se vuelve compleja la cosa. El complemento es algo compuesto, no quiero decir complejo, es algo compuesto. Puede o no llevar artículos, como les estaba enseñando, el artículo, ¿no? El a, an, el artículo the, todo dependerá del contexto de lo que estás diciendo. ¿Ok? puede ir un quantifier, que es un quantifier ok, eso lo puedes encontrar dentro de estas oraciones también ¿se acuerdan de any? Uh, some, esos son los más comunes few etcétera, ok entonces ya les voy a enviar unos cuadritos que son bien útiles para esto y vamos a procurar, eh, estoy recordando que en este módulo yo lo que hago es enviarlos al supermercado. Hago grupos, uno es el papá y los demás son los hijos. Resulta que el papá se va para el súper y se le olvida el listado de compras y los hijos le tienen que decir si hay o no hay X cosa en la casa. ¿Ok? Es bien entretenido, se ocupa muchísimo vocabulario. Ok, so, ¿cómo hago esto? Vamos a ver. Si quiero decir que hay, eh, hay leche en la casa, ¿cómo lo haría entonces? Hay leche en la refri. Uh -huh. Question or affirmative? Uh, we are talking about affirmations right now. Affirmative sentences. There is milk. Uh -huh. There is milk. Complemento in the fridge. Ok. Y aquí es donde yo le decía. There is some milk in the fridge. Hay algo de leche en la refri. Ok. Por ejemplo. Algo otro ejemplo. Si quiero ocupar plurales, ¿cómo sería entonces? There are. Uh -huh. Ahora un objeto plural. Any. Sí. X. There are eggs in the fridge. Hay huevos en, la, en el freezer, en la refri. There are eggs in the fridge. Ok. Quiero ser más específico. Ok. There are five eggs in the fridge. Quiero exagerar un poco. There are only... Man, there are only five eggs in the fridge. And today is the 24th. We're missing six days for payday. And we only have five days. I mean, five eggs in the fridge. We only have five eggs in the fridge. ¿Tiene sentido lo que les estoy diciendo? Es bien apegado al español esto, ¿eh? Todavía seguimos algo apegado al español. No es una gran cosa de gramática. Ok, more examples. Úrsula, help me. Reina. Sonia, muy callada, Sonia. Elizabeth. Uh, there are... Uh -huh. There are three books. Three books. On the... Yeah. Three books in, on the... The table. 
Simple, yeah. There are three books on the table. Excellent. Ocupamos preposiciones, okay? Good job. Okay, María, Arely, Marta, Irma, Jennifer, Sonia, Silvia, Erling, Catherine. There is a fish in the fridge. Excellent. Ahora, una cosa más. Puedo contractuar. There's a fish in the fridge. Good job. Seguimos hablando del fridge. There's a fish in the fridge. There's a fish in the fridge. Negative form. Excellent. Bien. Si ya quedó claro eso, vamos con la negative form. Es tan fácil como toda regla gramatical que les dije. Se le agrega el not a quién. To be. To be. En este caso, to be, pero en general es el auxiliar de lo que estás ocupando, ¿no? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? ¿Cuál es el que viene al frente para hacer una pregunta? ¿Cuál le agrego el not? Ese es el auxiliar. Entonces aquí voy a agregar to be not. Y luego el complement. Ok. Vamos con ejemplos de una sola vez. There is not water in the house. house. There is no water in the house. Hasta se oye raro. Ojo con lo que voy a hacer porque aquí ya podés contractuar más. Pónganme atención un segundo, por favor, dejen de copiar. Ya les voy a enviar la captura, de hecho, el WhatsApp. A ver, tengo dos opciones para contractuar. Puedo decir there's, there's not, pero se ve raro. También puedo hacer esto, miren, ojo, con esta manera de hablar de there is, there, there are. Puedo decir con el singular, there's no water. Y se oye muchísimo mejor. There's no water. There's no water in the house. There's no water in the house. ¿Ok? Una frase muy utilizada por nosotros los salvadoreños. There's no money. Man, there's no money. There's no money. <laughs> ok, there's Como no... Lo supo. Como oh, lo supo. Always, oh, right? There's no water in the house. There's no water in the house. Ahora, otra forma de contactuar. Sería contactando el is con el not. There isn't water in the house. Ahora, también dentro de la negativa y solo en negativa y en pregunta y mejor se lo digo en solo. Ahorita, para las negativas y las preguntas, puedo yo ocupar la palabra any. El cuantificador any para negativas y preguntas nada más. There isn't any. There isn't any money. There isn't any. Um, well, what else? What else? There isn't any milk. Yeah. Ok. Vamos con incontables. There isn't any fruit. Fruits. Fruit, fruits. Hmm. There isn't any honey. Okay. There isn't any honey. Y aquí sigo diciendo simplemente no hay miel. No hay nada de miel. Okay. There isn't any honey. Para negativas. En las positivas, voy a volver arriba, ya les dije que le pueden enviar eso a su WhatsApp, inmediatamente lo terminemos. Okay. En las positivas es común ocupar some. There are or there is some. Okay. There is some uh, time. There's some time. Don't worry. There's some time. There is some time. Um, there are there are some vegetables. There are some vegetables in the fridge. There are some vegetables. On the table. Some. Ojo con eso. Repito, some solo es para afirmaciones. Rarísimo, muy rarísimo verlo en una pregunta. Ok. 
Ursula, I think there is some love between us, le dice la esposa. There is some love between us. There is some love in the air. There is some love in the air, yeah. Right? <laughs> Dije, in, in, intangibles, ideas abstractas. El amor es lo más abstracto que puede haber. There is some love between us, right? Okay. There isn't any honey. Questions? Oh, negative with plurals. Um, Eduardo, una negativa con plural. There aren't... There aren't... There aren't, there aren't books in the library. Perfect. There aren't books in the library. I'm sorry, Ursula. For example, there aren't so much. There aren't so much. Buen punto. Okay, much. Incontables. Many. Contables. Many. Entonces, ¿puedo o no puedo? Mejor pretendo que se me ve el Inter, dice. Eh, eh, no, no es justo. <ríe> ¿Cómo era la oración que hizo Úrsula? Vale. Ya se me olvidó. <ríe> Ese es el problema conmigo. Mire que ya no, ya no, ya no lo voy. Ay, van a disculpar. <laughs> Come on, there aren't much. No, there isn't much. There is much. Uh -huh. No puedo decir there are much or there aren't much porque eso es para incontable. Sería there aren't many. There aren't many. Uh -huh. There aren't many apples. There aren't many apples. There aren't any apples. No hay, ni no hay ninguna manzanas. No hay manzanas. Okay. Good. What about questions? Pues para las preguntas como les he explicado con otros tiempos gramaticales o de manera general, las What is it? It's not affirmations. Uh, this is on uh, interrogative forms. The interrogative way. Interrogative. Uh, vamos a ocupar el auxiliar al principio. ¿Y cuál es nuestro auxiliar aquí? Verbo to be. Uh -huh. Eso lo traigo al frente. Digo to be plus there. Okay, plus the complement. Entonces, ajá. Uh -huh. Are there. Uh -huh. Y aquí sí puedes ocupar mucho eso del any, ¿eh? Que le decía negativa y pregunta, se ocupa any. Are there? Are there any flowers? Oh. Ok, ¿are there any flowers? ¿O estamos preguntando por harina? Úrsula. No, flowers. Ah, va, chivo, sí, porque si fuera eh, harina sería, is there any flower? Flower. Uy, is there any flower? Hay harina, tan simple como eso. Ahora bien, ustedes son súper pro, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Vámonos pro. ¿Cómo diría entonces, hay suficiente... Vámonos con el pisto, lo que más nos gusta. Ajá. Hay suficiente... Uy, ya me equivoco. Hay suficiente dinero. Lo que yo le digo a mi esposa cada vez. ¿Hay suficiente dinero, querida? ¿O necesitas más? Ajá. 
Oh, good. Uh, solo que es is. Is there enough? Para que me, para que me dé un besito. Is there any? Is there enough? Is there enough money, honey? Is there enough money, honey? Bien, Frank Sinatra hace esa oración. Is there enough money, honey? Okay. Are there any flowers? Is there any flower? Um, is there what? What? Any milk? Vamos, chicos, ayúdenme. Are there? Are there potatoes? Bien, eh, solo quiero darles unos ejemplos para que vean cómo va la gramática. Esto no es difícil, esto es muy fácil, como todo, ¿no? Siempre todo tiene que ser fácil. I'm going to send you a screenshot right now. ¿Alguna pregunta? Questions? Questions? Bien, eh, tienen un minuto para hacer cualquier pregunta que se les ocurra relacionada a lo que estamos viendo, por supuesto. En tu question, y... tenemos un minuto, dijo no copiáramos, luego les envío la información para que copien. Y Ahí ahora está. En un minuto copio. Ya... Ahí está en el chat de WhatsApp. Ajá. <risa> Hmm. Um, les decía que hay cinco formas de hablar ¿Sí? ya vimos positivo, negativo, pregunta preguntas abiertas es la cuarta pero en este contexto de hay o no hay eh, lo más común es usar how many o how much que más adelante lo vamos a ver en el libro ok, pero rapidito how many contables how much incontables si quiero decir cuánto tiempo tenemos. How much time do we have? Mm. Super bien, Jennifer. Jennifer participa más. Usted tiene bien, buena pronunciación. Rápido me contesta cuando traducimos. ¿Qué onda? Too much Spanish, you all right? Okay. I'm going to talk more in English so everybody can participate. Let's continue. There is, there are. Then we have a conversation, I think, or an activity on your workbook. So look at the examples on the on the role play on your book. Using there is and there are. So you have there is an office. There is one office. That sounds terrible. There's an office in San Salvador. There are three distribution centers. Distribution centers in Ilopango. There is no, there is not a store. There is not a, not a, not a, not a, not a. There is not a store. There is not a store in the city. Aquí falta el, el um, oh my God, la preposición in, chicos. Si quieren corregir su libro. There is not a store in the city. There is not a store in the city. There are not many places to have a meeting. So, vamos a dividir nada más cinco minutos, rapidito. ¿O saben qué? No, no, no. Let's do it. Let's do it here. Okay? Look at the examples. Read the sentences. Find the mistakes and correct it. Luego voy a preguntarle a uno por uno. Voy a agarrar víctimas. Y le voy a decir, okay, Edwin, number one. For example, Jill, number five. Y así voy a ir, okay. Resolvamos las cinco en nuestros cuadernos. Right? Reescribir. Rewrite the sentences. If you think there is a mistake, there is two branches in El Salvador. Okay, go ahead, guys. You only have five minutes. Go.
Okay, ready? Ready, teacher. Okay, Edwin, go with number one. <laughs> there are two branches in El Salvador. Perfect. There are... We... Mm -hmm. There are two branches in El Salvador. El Salvador. El Salvador. Uh -huh. Let's go with Jill. Jill number two. Um, there is um, one, uh, there is one facility facilities available. Wait. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There is. <laughs> there is. Uh huh. There is mm -hmm. one facility available. 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 Mm -hmm. Available. Ah, okay. Available. Is uh, being escrita no es available. Available, available. Available. Yeah, it's time. Mm -hmm. Available. Ay, sí, miro esa palabra todos los días a cada minuto. <laughs> en la pantalla, don't worry. Available. Uh -huh. Good job. <laughs> there is one facility available. Good job. Eduardo, number three. There is a new offices. Justo la que no hice. <laughs> oh, come on. There is a new office. It's the same. Yeah. It's the same. There is a new office. Yeah, that's it. There is a new office. Por supuesto, o sea, yo puedo haber puesto there are new offices. There are new offices or oh, there is a new office good job uh voy a leer alguien del fondo que tiene la cámara apagada vamos a ver elizabeth hi teacher okay number four yes there are not materials to work good job materials to work there are not materials to work Good job. And the last one. And this is the key. Arli, Arli. Are you sleeping? Arli. Hi. Hello. Okay, there is not three boxes in the lobby. Hmm. There's not Easter. Box the lobby. Mm -hmm. Repeat, teacher. I'm so sorry. I was sleeping. Come on. Decíamos, there is not. Sería para singulares. There are not. Sería para plurales. En time. Let's uh -huh. see. not. There's not is. No. Vamos a ver. Reina. Rain. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, there are. Mm -hmm. There are not boxes in the lobby. There are not three. Uh, yeah. Es que eso, yeah. Eso, a ver, ese es así. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there are not three boxes. Sigue siendo plural. Boxes in the lobby. Bien, una clave para no equivocarse en esto es ver que el, el, um, el objeto esté en plural o no. ¿Cuál es el objeto? Vamos, y ojo, eh, eh, porque va a llegar un punto en gramática en el que van a entender que diferenciar los objetos pronombres. No me acuerdo por qué, pero en intermedio tres... Si no me equivoco, van a tener que diferenciar ya esto por la voz pasiva, creo que es. A ver, 
Ajá, por la voz pasiva. Entonces, eh, el objeto de esta primera oración, there is two branches, there are two branches, ¿cuál es el objeto de la oración? Branches. Branches. Mm -hmm, the sucursal is very good. And what about this? Number two, what, where is the object pronoun? Sorry, here. Mm -hmm. Facility. Facility. Very good. Facilities, facility. What about there is a new office? Office? Oh, office. office, yeah. Good job. What about there are there are no materials to work? Materials. Materials. Good job. And the last one? Boxes. Boxes or three boxes? Three boxes. Three boxes, right? Okay. Good. So, muy importante identificar. Entonces, hey, está en plural el, el objeto. Entonces, tiene que ser are. Okay. And vice versa. Teacher. Teacher, yo tuve una dificultad con la con la tarea. Estaba intentándola, pero hay dos, de hecho la pregunta tres y la cinco, que eh, pues yo dije, vea, quizás me sale mal, estoy haciendo algo mal, voy a poner atención en la clase y a ver si me aclara, pero me siguen saliendo mal esas dos. Yo también, teacher. It's ten o'clock on a Monday, the teacher has to go. But tomorrow he's going to check the platform so we can Our all check six. the errors. And okay. tonight, uh, who's going to stay with me tonight? Sí, lo vamos a ver mañana al inicio de la, de la clase, ¿ok? Eh, de hecho, eh, si pueden, escríbanme el WhatsApp. Eh, solo pónganme qué ejercicio es para que yo vea qué onda. Sí. Les digo si sí, es o no un error de la plataforma o, o algo estamos haciendo más. Hay que ponerle atención a los puntos a los apóstrofes si es necesario en su teclado, porque hay como tres apóstrofes en el teclado, ok, so that's one thing um, ¿Quién se quedó conmigo el viernes? ¿Edwin? No No ¿Quién fue? ¿Elizabeth? ¿Elizabeth? Ah, you know what, I'm gonna stay with Elizabeth, her first day porque ya estuve con Daisy si no me equivoco, Ajá. ah no, Daisy se quedó right Edwin, do you have 10 minutes? No nos, yes. no nos hemos quedado, ¿verdad, Edwin? No. No, ok, good. Ok, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm saying with Edwin 10 minutes. Elizabeth, tomorrow you stay 10 minutes, ok? Ok, teacher. Good, good. Alexa, Marcela, Cibrián de Montenegro. Present, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Arely Isabel Campos Hernández. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Hey, eh, enséndame las cámaras, porfa. Solo un minuto. Dalila Abigail Hernández Meléndez. No, ok. Daisy Carolina Angulo de Sánchez. Daisy. No. Edwin Esaú Galdames Calderón. Elizabeth del Carmen Vázquez Pérez. Elizabeth. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Erling Melquisedec Castro Cortés. Erling? He was here. Okay. Henry Giovanni Rivas Rivera. Irma Noemí de Jesús Martínez. Jennifer Beatriz Mejía Cepeda. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jill Yvonne Mengíbar de Castellanos. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar. Catherine Beatriz Reyes Ventura. Present. Good Thank night. You. Good night. María Epifania Castro. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night, María. Marta Marisol Castellano. I'm sorry, Castillo Valladares. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Oscar Humberto Argueta, Reina Elizabeth García Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Good night. Silvia Evelyn Romero Bautista. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio Orellana. 
Listen, teacher. Good night. Good night. Ursula Esteli Gomez Martinez. Listen, teacher. Good night. Good night. Habré mencionado a Eduardo, yo creo que mencioné a Eduardo, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ahí estaba Juan. Juan Eduardo, ok. Ok. Espérame, vamos a remover a la gente que se quedó dormida. Ok, ahí estamos. <risa> So, Edwin, bien, esta es nuestra primera sesión Yo siempre que estoy por primera vez con un grupo Suelo hacer cuatro preguntas Sencillo eh, ¿Cuál ha sido tu experiencia con el inglés? Sin mencionar Academia ¿verdad? pero ¿Cómo ha venido tu historia con el inglés? Hasta estas alturas eh, Dentro de ese aprendizaje Bueno, de experiencias que has tenido Has identificado ¿Qué es lo que te cuesta? Si es hablarlo, la gramática, leerlo Entenderlo y por último, este, um, ¿qué estás haciendo? Aparte de recibir estas dos horas de clase, ¿estás haciendo algo más para mejorar? O sea, ¿realmente existe esa necesidad y te quedas después de la clase buscando material o algo para aprender? Pues es mi primera experiencia en un curso de inglés. Mm. En una plataforma de ustedes, ¿me? Uh -huh. Y nunca he estado en otra y la verdad es que eh, siempre he tenido como ese sueño de aprender a hablarlo, a leerlo y a entenderlo, a todo. Uh -huh. Y me gustaba, antes de entrar a eso, pues siempre buscaba canciones y con su traducción. Uh -huh. Y ver, ver canales en inglés de cable. Uh -huh. Y eh, me he escrito algunas páginas que mandan palabras diarias, por ejemplo, el correo. Uh -huh. Este, eso es lo que he ido haciendo más unos consejos que nos han ido dando los otros teachers anteriormente ¿no? ¿Cuántos teachers has tenido? Esto es desde el uno entonces Uno, ajá, en el primero tuvimos uh -huh. un teacher luego en el dos, tres, otro teacher y usted uh -huh. el tercero uh -huh. ajá. Oye, muy y, quinto. Es... <ríe> y estoy practicando me ha gustado bastante lo que se nos mandó de, de, de escuchar con los uh -huh. audífonos Conversaciones, diferentes conversaciones, topic. Pues. Ah, ya encontraste eso, ajá, ajá. Escucharlo prácticamente y, y este, me gusta bastante, igual que es parecido a lo de la uh -huh. TV, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Cuestiones de noticias y todo eso, solo escucharlo nada más y estoy tratando de... Es que de empaparte, menos... parte, ajá, de parte, para que el oído se te vaya acostumbrando, poco a poco, mira, si haces eso... Eh, trata de estar en un entorno tranquilo con audífonos y como te decía, los primeros dos días agarra una conversación nada más los primeros dos días no abras la boca, solo lee y escucha, lee y escucha ya cuando te borras de hacer eso pues empiezas a intentar hablarlo a repetir las oraciones a que salga de la boca lo que estás escuchando porque así el cerebro se va acostumbrando y, y pues no traduzcas no necesitas el español, ya lo sabes, ya lo conoces. Lo que sí te recomiendo es que vayas viendo dentro de las oraciones que, que salen ahí en las conversaciones, eh, la gramática que lleva. Hacete curioso por eso. Bueno, ¿qué es esto? Ah, esto es un sujeto, dice I. Oh, eh, eso lo vi. Dice have, el verbo tener. I have seen. Este verbo no lo he visto. I have seen. Ah, ya envió un listado de verbos. Lo voy a buscar en el traductor de un solo sin. Y te va a salir visto. I have seen. Yo tengo visto. No, no entiendo. Lo voy a meter al traductor todo. I have seen. Yo he visto. ¿Sí? Y ahí te da más curiosidad y vas a decir. Yo he visto. Tú has visto. Él ha visto. Hemos visto. Esto es otro tiempo gramatical. Y lo pones así tal cual. Yo he visto. Tú has visto. Él ha visto. Y te va a salir, te aseguro que si pones eso en Google, de un solo te vas a tirar. Presente perfecto. <ríe> y empezás a curiosear. Ey, así es esta onda. ¿Ya? Porque todo lo que puedes decir ahorita en español, se puede decir en inglés. Todo, 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 todo. todo. Pero todo depende de vos. ¿Qué tanto necesitas? Yo le decía a un amigo, ¿qué tanta hambre tiene usted? Le decía yo, porque estaba 
fregar y fregar en serio en inglés, yo no doy clases privadas, no me gusta dar clases privadas. Y fregar y fregar, enséñeme, enséñeme. Vaya, pues. ¿De verdad tiene hambre? Sí, me decía, puche casi, ay, yo, ¿qué hago? Llegué hasta, hasta noveno, me decía, un señor, te estoy hablando de unos 35 años. Hasta noveno, y ya, mire, ya no aguanto, ya. Yo me dice, 35 años, en 20 años, ¿qué voy a estar haciendo? Me dice, trabajo para andar, me dice, andar abriendo hoyo, cansadísimo, ya no quiero eso, ni para mis hijos, ni para mí. Mira, y se ha metido, todos los días nos conectábamos, una hora, una hora, una hora, pero yo le fregué la vida, ¿sí? Una noche que hasta casi que chillando, ¿y qué pasa? Pues le digo, démosle, hágale, le digo, que agarrar esa confianza con él, va. Ya después me dijo, no hombre, puya, me dijo. Gracias, me dijo, ya, ya, ya logro entender, ya me expreso. Claro, se tomó con solo unos seis meses, pero juela, me, porque los adultos es más difícil. Entonces, y de ahí agarrate, ahorita tienes como 25 más o menos. No. Más. 34. 34. 34. Ah, pues traga los años igual que yo, bueno. Aprovecha. <risa> Aprovecha que todavía tienes energía, hace todo hasta lo imposible, sacrificarte, créeme que después va a valer la pena. Yes. Va a valer la pena. So. Por ejemplo, del, del grupo de acá, he venido con, por ejemplo, Jennifer uh -huh. y Eduardo, que son los que ya hablan más fluido. Entonces, a ese punto quiero llegar por lo menos. <risa> eh, podés hacerlo mejor, podés lograr más, pero es que Depende del tiempo que le dediques y lo que hagas. Lo que hagas tiene mucho que ver con, con que tú identifiques. Mira, si tú logras identificar cómo sos, ¿sí? Cómo sos. Si sos perezoso, tienes que agarrar disciplina, ¿sí? ¿Cuál es tu talón de Aquiles? ¿Qué es lo que te cuesta? ¿Por qué te ha costado? Si, por ejemplo, le digo a los que vienen rebotando. No, me dice, yo he pagado cursos, he ido a la universidad, que no sé qué. Y, y ya llevo tres años en esto y no logro aprender, ningún profesor me hace, me hace aprender hola, hola, espérame, ah, ahí estamos perdón, pues sí ni, nadie me hace aprender es que ningún curso sirve, me decía un señor bien bravo, no los cursos sirven, lo que pasa es que qué tanto tiempo le dedica a usted, bueno, sí ve. y es cierto todo curso, bueno, todo depende de tu um, ¿sabes qué? ¿de qué te motiva? ¿Qué te motiva? Si tenés hijos, sabes a lo que me refiero. Correcto. Entonces, ánimo, ánimo. Y si necesitas ayuda, alguna idea, escríbeme, no tengas pena. Si de verdad querés aprender, escríbeme y yo te doy links o cualquier cosa, pues, ¿verdad? para que puedas hacerlo. Una tarea que yo suelo dejarles cuando de verdad quieren aprender es tan fácil. Agarrar una pregunta como, what do you do every day? What do you do every day? Un presente simple que haces todos los días. Eso sí, tenés 30 segundos para hablar fluido. Es decir, por lo menos 10 oraciones fluido en 30 segundos. ¿Cómo lo haces? Escribí lo primero en español, lo traducí después, asegúrate que esté bien la gramática. ¿Ok? Y empezás con lo mismo. Empezás a repetir, a repetir, a repetir. ¿Ya? Mételo al traductor. Te va a dar hasta risa cómo habla de rápido el traductor, pero para el ojo. ¿Ok? Lo practicas. Una vez vos digas y agarras confianza, y no, ya me salió bien, se lo va a mandar el teacher, ¡pum! me mandas el audio y yo te mando el feedback. ¿Ya? Ok, ¿Sí? perfecto. Ahí estamos a la orden. Ajá. Uh -huh. Good night. <ríe> ok, good night.